Biosecurity is key to preventing disease organisms from being introduced into a poultry flock. Poor bird health impacts all aspects of flock management and production, and more importantly, on bird welfare. This film provides a comprehensive overview of biosecurity procedures. Good biosecurity begins at the build planning stages. Farms should be located in isolated areas and away from other livestock facilities. There should be secure perimeter fencing around the farm to prevent unauthorised visitors and to help control site traffic. Signage on the farm should be easily visible to indicate restricted areas and provide clear instruction to farm workers and visiting personnel. There should be an area of approximately 15 metres or 50 feet around the houses that is kept tidy and clear of vegetation. Gravel, pebbles and concrete are recommended. These areas should be well maintained with good drainage to reduce the risk of infection and the build-up of insects. Integrating a proven pest management programme helps prevent diseases transmitted by animals and should be a part of any biosecurity plan. Farm design should prevent wild birds and rodents from entering the buildings. A concrete foundation and floor will prevent rodents from burrowing into the house. It is important to keep areas around the farm free from equipment, building materials or items which could provide shelter to small animals or wild birds. Likewise, vents and other possible entry points should be designed to prevent unwanted entry or nesting. All farms should have rodent baiting in place. The following diagram is an example of a rodent baiting plan. The number of baiting points should be increased if rodents have a high presence in the area. Regular maintenance and checking of bait points is always good practice. Managing farm entry is essential for biosecurity. There should only be one main point of entry to help with the flow and direction of people and traffic. Everyone entering the farm must follow strict biosecurity procedures to prevent diseases from being transmitted to the flock by humans. Items that must be brought in should be fumigated prior to entry. Where this is not possible, all equipment must be thoroughly cleaned using an appropriate disinfectant. All visitors must sign in and a record of all visitors should be kept, including information and dates on farms and sites they've previously visited. All visitors must be free from illness and number of visitors should be limited. All workers and visitors must shower into, wear clean farm clothes and shower out of the facility. This is the best way to prevent cross-contamination between the facilities. When entering the house, additional biosecurity measures must be taken to prevent the transfer of disease from house to house. Foot baths, which contain disinfectant, and hand sanitizers should always be used before entering and after exiting each house. Ideally, house-dedicated footwear should be used. Good water quality is essential for bird health and welfare. It is a good biosecurity practice to routinely test the water quality to ensure it remains clean and free from pathogens. Chlorination to give between 3 and 5 ppm free chlorine at the drinker is usually effective in controlling bacteria depending on the type of chlorine component used. Ultraviolet light applied at the point of entry to the house can also be used to disinfect water. Feed should be kept in well-maintained storage facilities outside of the house. Any feed spillages should be cleaned up immediately to prevent attracting wild birds and vermin. Dead bird disposal prevents cross-contamination with other poultry. There are various methods of bird disposal. However, incineration is the most biosecure. The incinerator should be located away from the house but still within the perimeter of the farm. It must avoid contamination of the environment and be in accordance with local legislation. Cleaning and disinfection of the houses between flocks is a vital part of biosecurity. 
The goal of the cleaning and disinfection process is to remove all potential human and poultry pathogens. Downtime, or the period of time with no birds on the farm, between flocks will reduce contamination, and a minimum downtime of three weeks between flocks is recommended, but it may need to be longer depending on the size of the farm. Implementing and following a clear biosecurity program will prevent the introduction of disease to the farm from both humans and animals. Once implemented, the biosecurity program should be maintained and regularly checked, and if required, updated. Biosecurity is essential for bird welfare and optimal performance. <laughs>